Hello everyone, welcome to my The Bold and the Beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Thursday, August 29, 2024. Poppy gets a lot of visitors, Ridge worries about his kid, and Luna makes fun of her prisoner today on The Bold and the Beautiful. Lee urges Finn to visit Luna, but advises him not to bring up Steffi's departure from the area. Why add another worry to Luna's already long list? Finn promises that he won't cause any more stress in Luna's life and that he will surprise her by stopping by the apartment to give her a big hug. However, Lee advises him not to go to the flat because Luna is no longer residing there. The fact that Steffi hasn't contacted to let Finn know where she is seems strange to him. What could be her location, he wonders. Steffi continues to be stuck in the cage and begs out for assistance in vain. She cries, someone please help me. She rallies and tries to locate a weak point in the cage. When Steffi hears someone at the door and screams for help, Luna enters while drinking a green shake that doesn't look good. Luna tells her prisoner once more that the building is empty and will soon be demolished. What are you going to do with me? Is the million dollar question that Steffi poses. Sucking on the straw and slurping up more of her shake, Luna looks for all the world like Heartstopper's Tori. Steffi's absence from work has irritated Ridge. Brooke says he put her on the executive team because he knows she can help. He feels compelled to care for his daughter and desire to ensure her safety. Ridge continues, saying that if Hope had been able to keep her lips off of Finn's, none of this would have occurred. He's reassured by Brooke that Steffi will return home and be with her husband shortly. Ridge is talked out of the proverbial tree by Brooke, who assures him that Steffi will return home shortly. According to Brooke, his daughter is just attempting to move on from the incident and return home. She reassures him, Steffi can take care of herself. While Poppy is still in the jail visitor's room, she is taken aback by Bill's unexpected presence. She assures him that she is innocent despite the appearance of guilt. She begs him, tell me you believe I'm innocent? But the mounting evidence makes him wonder. Eventually, the topic of the paternity test comes up. Do you know how the first test came back positive? He asks, his tone accusing. She expresses her shattered heart for him and her belief that he is Luna's father. Don't make any mistakes, Poppy says. Luna loves you very much, even though she is not yours. Bill remembers that very improper kiss as Poppy begs him to stay in Luna's life. Then, in the year's biggest understatement, he remarks that Luna has been acting out. He does, however, swear not to desert Luna. Poppy confesses her love for him as the guard signals that it is time to go. Never question that, and never question my innocence, please. When Finn shows there, Poppy, who is now residing in the visitor's room, has another guest. She understands and he apologizes for not coming sooner. She acknowledges that Luna is the one she is worried about when they check in with one another. When the topic of the enigmatic backpack comes up, she reiterates that she has no idea how it got there. Finn makes an effort to believe his aunt is innocent, but he finds it difficult to comprehend the possibility that she was set up. She questions whether the flat may hold any clues as to the true perpetrator. She begs, will you come to my apartment and see what you can find? Perhaps you can uncover some proof of the identity of the true murderer. When Luna states that she's there to put her mom under the bus, my words, not hers, because she can't keep covering for Poppy, Baker is obviously horrified. How could Luna know her mother is guilty? The murderous woman says, because she told me? Baker questions her about why she formerly stood up for her mother with such fervor, to which she replies that she is no longer able to lie. To protect her life with Bill Spencer, my mom killed Tom Starr. She wanted everyone to not know who my real father is, she says. She also killed Hollis after he questioned her about it. Luna is asked to sign a document by Baker. She consents, but only on the condition that she remain nameless in order to preserve their mother-daughter bond. 
Incredibly, Baker promises to look into it. Okay, let's move Poppy to the chair in response to an unidentified complaint. Forget the whole bullshit about having the right to confront your accusers. Luna inquires about Steffi's recommendation on what to do with her as the show comes to an end. In essence, Steffi says, leave me go, duh. Luna is adamant that she won't be discovered. Today, I essentially sealed my mother's fate, the lunatic claims, divulging specifics of her chat with Baker. It doesn't seem good for you or my mother. Declaring that it's not personal, Luna refers to Steffi as an inspiration and a real role model. Nevertheless, I can't have you meddling with my future because you saw me kissing Bill, which is unfortunate. I'm living the life I've earned. Steffi implores Luna to consider their family and Finn. As Steffi continues to pound at the cage she's stuck in, Luna exclaims, a family you'll never see again, and walks out with confidence. According to teasers for The Bold and The Beautiful, Steffi Forrester is the last person you would want to put in a cage with a wild animal. If Luna Nozawa survives to tell the tale, she will be fortunate. In addition to becoming the heir apparent to Forrester creations, Queen Steffi has demonstrated her fierceness. Before everything is said and done, though, there might be one more turn in this tale. Spoilers ahead for what will happen next on Bold and Beautiful, so keep reading. Spoilers for the Bold and the Beautiful, Steffi Forrester battles for her life. Spoilers for this week's B and B show indicate that Steffi Forrester will be fully committed to her survival. Sheila Carter's evil twin sugar was fatally murdered when Steffi was forced to protect herself in a precarious situation the last time. Luna Nozawa might have misjudged the wife of Dr. John Finnegan. Speculation has been circulating among viewers that Luna Nozawa is not actually her cousin but rather Finn's daughter after she moved to Los Angeles. For some time now, the NP rumors have suggested that Poppy Nozawa may have had an affair with her adolescent nephew, and Luna was the offspring of that infamous tryst. That would account for Lee Finnegan's overwhelming sense of relief upon realizing Bill Spencer was Luna's father. If Luna Nozawa is indeed Finn's daughter, this will eventually come to light. The irony is that Luna Nozawa is currently essentially holding her stepmother captive. Finn found it difficult to believe that Steffi was Sugar's killer. Steffi cannot return if he murders his own daughter. The end be warning. Is Finn Finnegan? In reality, Luna Nawaz's father. To be fair to Steffi, she was unaware that Luna might not be Finn's cousin, but rather his daughter. The LAPD will also classify it as an additional instance of self-defense. But the Sayan marriage might not be able to move on from just one death. Do you believe Steffi will murder Luna in order to escape? Do you believe that Luna's cousin Finn will be revealed as her REL father when it all comes down to it? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.